Welcome back to Ministry Monday. One person who shares and another who comments will receive a copy of my newest book, Definitely Distinct, and it is for God's men. And uh, there is also a uh, teacher's manual that can go with it if someone would like to teach it to a group. Uh, it has been well received among men. It's quite a bit different sort of writing than any that I've done before. We're beginning a conversation about how to gain and sustain influence. And part of what has to be done, I think, in, in that, as is true in many other aspects of life, is we kind of have to think through and perhaps unlearn some of what we have thought to be the appropriate approach to getting things done. Uh, unfortunately, many who are in roles of leadership treat those that they are trying to get to a certain destination, they treat them as though the leader were a cowboy more than he was a shepherd. Now, cowboys are needed, obviously, because cows are a particular uh, creature, but the Lord never called his church and he never called his people cows. He called us sheep. He said to Peter, feed my sheep. He called himself the great shepherd. Cowboys are different because they are drivers. They drive the flock. They press the flock and or the herd, excuse me. It's uh, in his world, the livestock were tightly bunched and and uh, they're they're not wandering about at all. And the cowboy has a horse. He sits high above them. He is on the edge of the herd, and he is uh, cracking the whip, as it were, steadily moving them toward a destination. Now, when the cowboy sits on the horse, there is an immediate disconnect. He is not among the herd. And again, cowboys are, are dealing with different critters, so I wouldn't recommend that they get among a herd of longhorns. But that's not what the Lord called us to be. He called me to be a shepherd of the flock of the sheep of God. So it's important that I get among them. The cowboy also has a very different perspective on life than what the, the cows have because he is far above them. And again, it's a reflection of the disconnect that can happen. Sometimes in our dealing with people, we can get very disconnected from the fact that the stresses and the pressures of life that working two jobs, going to school, trying to pay the bills for a child or two to perhaps go to college, the many things that involve people, the sicknesses, dealing with parents who perhaps are, are dealing with dementia, all of those things take something from people. And we can easily overdrive the flock of God when we treat them as though we are cowboys rather than shepherds. I want to encourage you today to just step back from your own behavior. Think about how you deal with people. Think about how that you interact. Do you get among the flock of God? Or is there this distance that you have intentionally placed between yourself and them? I encourage you, if that's been the case, to use a good biblical word, repent, and decide to get off your horse and get among the people of God and be their leader, be their influencer, and personify what it is to be a shepherd. Thank you for the shares. Thank you for the comments. God bless.